So, I am about to cut my hair. Um, I have already told you guys this, but 1.2% of the U.S. population has active epilepsy. And that sounds like a lot of people, but 1.2% um, of anything <clears throat> is not a large number. And 70% of that number is, un or is able to, excuse me, 70% of that number is able to successfully control their seizures with medication. And one of those medications is topiramate, also known as Topamax, um, which is an anticonvulsant. Um, also used to, uh, it can also be used to uh, treat migraines. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of the side effects of topiramate or Topamax are um, tiredness, drowsiness, uh, dizziness, loss of coordination, um, tingling in the hands and feet loss of appetite, bad taste in your mouth, nausea, diarrhea, uh, weight loss. <clears throat> Three to four percent of people on topiramate or topamax report hair loss. Um, I have experienced all of the above side effects. Um, I'm fatigued all the time. The loss of coordination is real. <laughs> it is both uh, physical and mental and it is associated uh, with both my seizures and my medication. I'm fatigued all the time. I think I said that already. Memory loss is another side effect. <laughs> um, the the uh, tingling in the hands and feet is sometimes so intense that it's painful. Um, the loss of appetite as well as the other digestive issues um, have lost me 40 pounds. Uh, and now I find myself in the 3 to 4% that is struggling with hair loss. Um, I am not saying all of this to talk negatively about the medication because it does work. Um, while I am not yet seizure free, they are getting better. Um, I am, I've been on multiple cocktails of medications <clears throat> to try to figure out the right one for me. Um, and we're getting there. We're just not there yet. Um, I said all of this to shed some light on just a little bit of what someone with epilepsy goes through to try to find um, a little bit of light in a dark tunnel. And right now, my tunnel has been narrowed some as I find myself about to make a drastic change to just make it through a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, my hair loss is just getting so bad and I find myself with bald spots in places that are hard to hide without constantly wearing like bandanas or headbands or hats, which I don't want to do all the time. Um, and you might think, well, your hair is long enough that you should cover it, because right now my hair does come to about here, um, and it's, again, it's a little bit curly, but it does come to like right here. Um, but the opposite effect occurs with long hair, um, and when your hair is long, it does get heavy and it kind of weighs it down at the scalp, the scalp, and you can see how thin it is just when it's pulled back. But when your hair is long, it's heavy, so it weighs it down at the scalp, and it, it exposes those bald spots at the scalp, um, leaving it stringy, <clears throat> and it comes together at the top, uh, leaving those areas open near where you know it's been making it hard for the hairs to spread out. And there's no volume, so it just kind of is flat and leaves those areas open and, and uncovered. Um, so where there's missing hair, there's bald spots. So what I'm going to do today is <clears throat> swallow real hard, <laughs> take a deep breath, and give myself a big old haircut in an attempt to take some of the weight off, give it some volume, and hopefully lighten up those roots and enable the hair to bounce some and spread out maybe and just cover those bald spots, hopefully. Um, cover the bald spots from the drastic loss that I've taken over the last few months and I'm hoping that this will get me through for a little while and that I won't I won't end up having to shave it or anything because I've lost probably half my hair mass at the roots and um, I have it pulled back right now so you can't really see but I'm going to insert some pictures in this video um, so you guys can see what some of us deal with and I, people lose hair for all kinds of reasons, you know, cancer, alopecia and other reasons, but um, this is what I've been dealing with. Um, 
so um, hopefully this will get me through for a little while and I won't have to end up shaving it like I said um, which I mean if I do there's wigs right I'm trying to stay positive but um there's such a huge push on women's beauty and you know you must look this way to be accepted socially or whatever and it's just I've always struggled so much with my self-esteem, and this last eight months just really hasn't helped with that at all, <laughs> and um, so now here I am about to drastically cut my hair in an attempt to save it after I've worked so hard to grow it out, and <laughs> um, like I said, people lose their hair for all kinds of reasons, so I don't know, I just trying to remind myself and I want to remind you people on Facebook and the world that um, your beauty is more than what you see in the mirror it's a hard reminder but there it is love yourself because I love you and I'm working really hard to love you it's, it's hard so. okay here we go love a new me for the last eight months and it's just hard so and I keep trying so for now this is part of it I'm just gonna embrace the new do and go from there